What was it like to drive around in the moon rover in the reduced lunar gravity environment? Uh, I didn't get to drive. Uh, John was the driver. We had trained that uh, he would uh, be the driver. I would be the navigator. Uh, and so as we drove across the lunar surface, we had no TV. Uh, and so I was getting a running description, if you will, uh, to mission control the science community about what we were seeing. I was taking pictures every 50 meters, and I was navigating us uh, to our destination. Uh, for instance, on the second excursion, we had to go south to uh, Stone Mountain, uh, and I was uh, guiding uh, John down as he drove. Uh, the actual experience of driving, it was very uh, bouncy. The lunar module, uh, the lunar rover uh, was very springy, very light in the lunar gravity, so it bounced a lot across the uh, very rough, rugged uh, lunar highlands. Oh, the old water bank is working super. This is going to be a good day, Charlie. Yeah! Woo! Man, that's a great big skid. We're doing uh, 10 clicks, Tony. Covered me with just on that one. And we had our seat belts buckled because you, without that, you felt you know, like you were going to get uh, pitched out the, onto the side. So, and then uh, finally, it had a it had an experience of of uh, fish tailing. It was like uh, 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 I, I, driving on ice, if you will, due to the light gravity. Uh, but that was a great adventure, and uh, and to be able to uh, drive the rover or ride the rover for 17 miles up on the lunar surface. Uh, was a, a really a, a, an exciting adventure. Man, you are really bouncing. Is he on the ground at all? That's 10 kilometers. Huh? He's got about two wheels on the ground. Okay, turn sharp. <laughs> I have no desire to turn sharp. <laughs> okay, here's a sharpie. Hey, that's great. Is a big rooster tail out of all four wheels. And as he turns, he skids the back end breaks loose just like on snow. Come on back, John. Hey, the deck is running. Man, I'll tell you, Andy's never seen a driver like this. Okay, when it hits the craters and starts bouncing, it's when he gets his rooster tail. He makes sharp turns. What was the most difficult part of your mission? Well, I think to me the most difficult part was the actual landing uh, on the lunar surface. It was very rough. Uh, as we came down, we began to see more and more craters of uh, smaller size. Uh, but a 10-meter crater uh, could turn over the lunar module. So we had to be very careful of where we uh, uh, uh of the spot we picked to touch down. Uh, John did that primarily. I was talking him down. I would occasionally look out my side of the spacecraft, make sure uh, that he wasn't landing in, in a, a crater on my side that he could not see. Uh, and so uh, that final few uh, hundred feet of descent was very, very critical. And so as a pilot, you want to make a successful landing because that's necessary for the exploration. Uh, so, uh, all in all, the, the landing to me was the most uh, critical, uh, most exciting phase of the mission. Looking back, what about the Apollo program do you think was its essential contribution? Well, I think the essential contribution was the, uh, the spirit of adventure, uh, the thrill of exploration that it brought to America. It united us in a common goal of, uh, of exploration. Uh, and that exploration has resulted in the uh, uh, incalculable uh, value to our economy and to the world economy. It proved us as a technological leader uh, in the world, and those technologies uh, have uh, spread across our uh, uh, economy and the world economy and given us a tremendous return on our investment. Uh, and uh, the government, can we can be proud of uh, what we accomplished uh, by leading the world in space technology and space exploration. 
people around the world were so excited about the Apollo program. What do you think we can do to help generate that same kind of enthusiasm for the upcoming NASA's return to the moon? Well, uh, a lot of that enthusiasm is going to be as a result of what the press does and uh, and how they capture our enthusiasm for a return to deep space exploration. I think that is the human spirit, is to go out and explore. Uh, we, uh, we uh, you know, four or 500 years ago, uh, Columbus came to explore America, and it didn't stop with that. They kept coming, and look what has happened. And the same can be said about Antarctica. We, you know, Shackleton went to the South Pole in the early 1900s, but we kept going. Uh, and uh, uh, let's not let Apollo be the end of deep space exploration. We can build on that. Uh, we can eventually uh, uh, see footprints on Mars and beyond. And so I think that's the human spirit, and I hope that we can capture that uh, for the future. Our last question is for our students in the audience. If you were to encourage children today to study science or math like you did, what advice would you give them? Uh, I would say uh, to the students, uh, don't get complacent. Don't take the easy courses. Uh, Take courses that challenge you mentally, intellectually. Uh, Take care of your body. Uh, Take care of your, uh, develop your mind, spirit, and body. Uh, and uh, that is uh, important. Set goals for yourself. Uh, enjoy what you're doing. Uh, if it's medicine, uh, go to medicine. If it's engineering, do that. All of these uh, the disciplines are going to be needed and are needed now uh, in the technological uh, uh, world that we live in and can lead to development in all these areas but it takes uh, wisdom and knowledge, and you gain that in your school. So don't waste your time uh, in school. Enjoy school uh, and uh, be challenged by uh, your opportunities in, uh, in school. That's great advice, and I wanted to thank you for sharing your time with us on this important 40th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission and for telling your story to the Challenger Center for Space Science Education. Well, thank you very much, Rita. I enjoy working with the Challenger Centers around the country. Uh, it's a, a very, very important part of, uh, of the motivation of our young people, and so it's a pleasure for me to be with you. Thank you so much, and have a great day. You too. Thank you.